Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As French. As the French. Uh, I have gone ahead and taken some suggestions and built out our initial fleet. We are out of money. And I had to rebalance our budget, but I was happy with how that worked out. So we have four battleships, two of each of the classes, two heavy cruisers, ten light cruisers of three of the classes. The larger torpedo cruiser we did not build, but it's still there. And twelve of these smaller torpedo boats. They're kind of spread out in penny packets, though. So... Finance-wise, we had to cut down on transport capacity, which I'm a little disappointed because I like that to be at 200%. But if that's all I have to cut for the very beginning, I'm okay with that. Nothing happened for research. This turned backwards because I worked bottom up, rebuilding them all for the new patch. Most of them are relatively the same. I made some small changes here and there as needed. Uh, in particular, the Cosmo lost a funnel and shrank a lot, and now has a maintenance budget of only 143,000, but is slow. So I'm using this three mast cruiser as, and I switched the hull. This was the only one that switched hulls to the smaller, older three mast cruiser. And that uh, saved about half the maintenance cost, and it's relatively cheap now. And we're going to use those like auxiliary cruisers um, to go hunt down enemy shipping and harass, while still having enough teeth and armor to scare off any light combatants. Yeah, six five-inch guns. She had a split battery. It was two five-inch and. Four, four inch I believe before the rest of them they stayed mostly the same the devows are expensive and we didn't have the budget so I went strictly with the dasis's dasai not much of a gun cruiser at all focus on the torpedoes and the speed she's a silly looking boat and no esco pets just the pipettes because they are smaller and what like that is dirt cheap and then we spread them around the cond condorsets went to breast with a bagode class and to the uh, assassins i am going to stumble across french names apologies for getting it wrong uh, but I will make the attempt at least. The two Danton battleships, they're lightly armored, but uh, stronger secondary guns system. They went to Marseille along with one of the three cruiser setup that we had in Brest, split evenly. The heavy cruisers went to Fort Bayard, which is... China? Yeah. So they're the Far East Fleet combatants. I wanted to have more heavy cruisers, but we just didn't have the budget. Um, then the first two Cosmos went to French Indochina and then St. Denis in the Indian Ocean down south where they're least likely to get intercepted. And then Ports that were in restricted waterways, like Djibouti, which is the eastern horn of Africa, over here. Or areas that would be a little bit away from help. It would take several months for us to sail there. Moroni, I believe. Oh, there it is. Moroni. West Africa, we left 
pretty much bare. I was hoping to get two of the Cosmos out there. Uh, did we set any Cayenne? No. We had two to Brest, two to Marseille, and two to Bonifacio, which is on Corsica, the southern tip. Or intercepting the Italians if we go to war with them. And with that, to the French. Spain is relative. Spain was suggested. Italy was suggested. Germany was suggested. There's already some animosity with Germany, but they're a little bit of a powerhouse at this point. I'd like to get a little bit more of a naval lead before we go after them. So, with the suggestions of Italy and Spain, and being relatively close, we have 145,000 tons and 105,000 tons. Both have land borders. Army budgets, Italian budgets better, but the Italian Navy we have to deal with more. And then we have holdings we might be looking at. What holdings does Spain have? Such as West Africa, Cuba. Let's see, Cuba has an income. Two-thirds. Puerto Rico, 400. Oh, 600, 400. West Sahara. And the Canaries. Very light. Equatorial Guinea. How are these ports? Any significant ports? Yeah, the Caribbean ones are reasonably large. Okay, only San Juan is. Which I've been in that port. I can see it. Alright, and then we have the Pacific Islands. Wow, these are all tiny. Which makes sense. Caroline Islands all together, 100. West Philippines, 300. East Philippines, 200. But two significant ports. That'd be a plum to take, as would Puerto Rico. That's right, I can use the, forget I can use the keyboard. For the Italian side, they don't have much for colonial holdings. So we have Italian Somaliland, 200. Eritrea, 200. And then we have Sardinia, 250. Sicily, 700 altogether. But that's all concentrated and close to home. I think we're going to go for Spain first. Has a tougher army though, which concerns me. I like, like the annual economic growth to be higher, budgets to be larger. But we get too far into that. We want short, victorious wars. When you're at war, domestic GDP growth slows down tremendously. All right, so yeah, that should be everything. We will have fleets in being. We're not gonna save the cost of mothballing them by limiting. We want them in being. We want them ready, we want them practicing, we want them getting higher. Higher, I have words, I know I do. Higher training levels for the crew. We want the crew levels to be be high because it feeds into the global level. We go to crew pool. I know we can tell what level the crews are at. Yes, yes, crew training cadets. I know. 
as a way to check the global, I'll find it and then I'll be abashed that I missed it. But nothing's going on right now, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, we could have insulted. It was the first turn. That's fine. Gun cotton. That was quick. So his canals open, phosphorus, Dardanelles, Danish, Orsund, Singapore Strait. Isn't that the Strait of Malacca? Strait of Gibraltar. And higher relations with the British. Oh, because that was the first turn. Yeah, we couldn't have anyway, so we didn't waste anything. Portugal and Angola. All right. Increase tension. It's kind of cool. We didn't hurt our naval prestige. Helped it, in fact. That's a lot more money. Now we can build more cruisers like the Cosmos or more of the pipettes, which I think a pair of pipettes in each port is too little. <laughs> what is a pair of pipettes going to do? They're easier to manage and they can definitely attrit the enemy um, significantly and fend off an attack. I think I'd like them in trios though. So, let's see about that. Djibouti, Moroni. How many do we have already? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we can build six off the bat. Definitely do that. So let's go. There needs to be a better way to sort this. That is a criticism I will make. But I know the dev team has been busy. I know people give them a lot of flack, but. Oh, I went to St. Florent. That'll count for. Bonifacio. I need St. Dennis. Just the Indian Ocean. Like, even if it was in order of west to east, that, that would be something. Oh, maybe I can't build it there. Not directly. Like, they're kind of clustered together, but here's Tunisia and northern Algeria. Corsica and France are up here. Which I get it. Uh, let's do Marseille while we're looking at it. And then St. Dennis is in the Indian Ocean. So theoretically, it would be around here. We'll go ahead and stick it in Moroni and make the quick trip across to go to St. Dennis. Well, not that short. That leaves us with balance of almost 4 million. Might just at least be a half a percent. Would like two more Cosmos. We could do four. We could do so many. I would also like to do some two more Brigades. So that there are two escorts for the two battleships and then two torpedo cruisers. Basic penny packet fleets. I would like to 
flesh them out. And Marseille. That leaves us with enough for. Can we do four? Just. And we can, of course, cut back. I feel like we're going too heavy on um, light cruisers. They're going to be easy to kill. It's fine, though. So we have one in Indochina, or two in Indochina. We have two in St. Denis. Uh, if we're going to be fighting Spain, probably put two more in Conakry and Cayenne. And that'll tax our finances for now. But we have the basics. We have anything else coming up? Uh, gun layout. We have seven inch casemates. Excellent. Maneuver warfare. Crew training doctrine. Nice. And anti submarine early theory. Not that that's going to do anything yet. I was not expecting to have so much money to work with. Uh, my test campaign that I did last month was with Japan. And she's a bit more strapped. So, you believe they are extremely... Uh, the government asks your opinion about submarines. You believe they are extremely limited in their operational usefulness. Therefore, there is no need to invest more in submarine warfare. The submarine is a promising weapon that will revolutionize naval tactics. We must fund our submarine development projects. Or enemy submarines could seriously threaten our merchant ships, so we should also build more destroyers for defending our coasts. <laughs> I don't really want to hurt the gross domestic product yet I think I'm gonna go middle of the road we'll we'll take the hit try more of a long game sort of aspect so we insulted the Spanish we'll wait like we could increase relations but that's risky rolling the dice when our prestige is non-existent yet because usually increasing or decreasing costs prestige so i'm gonna wait and you can't do back to back it's grayed out so we'll have to wait until next month to increase tensions and should we refit with gun cotton what does that look like So we do a refit, and gun cotton. We go from a 31 inch, actually let's use 10 kilometers as the baseline, 19 inch uh, vertical penetration, 14 kilometer range, damage I'm interested in armor piercing, so 360. Rate of fire, 0.43. So let's take a look at gun cotton with that. And we're looking at 19 inches, uh, 15 kilometer range, or 40 damage, 0.42 rounds per minute. So it's, it's just a much higher increase in damage for the large shells that I find that doesn't really matter too much. For the lighter shells, uh, it, it makes a difference. 
exit without saving. Yes. We'll wait for more upgrades to come online and then we'll reconsider because it also comes with significant increase in flash fires and ammo detonations. Those are also deadly. Whereas the guns themselves are already pretty deadly. So in inch casemates, anti-submarine, Argentina signs or cozies up to the US. And increased tensions. Take a look at finances. Voice tubes with whistle. Nice. Mark II, two inch guns. Woo. I will try to avoid two inch guns. I find them mostly, mostly inconsequential. They can actually. They can start fires like any other gun. So a hail of two inch fire can make a difference. But they're so short ranged. They don't really fire that much faster than a three inch. Three inch is about as small as I would normally go. Interesting news. Russian Empire warns their admiralty. Oh, excessive naval expenditures. Same for Empire of Japan, same for Spanish Empire. Crew training doctrine is our training efficiency. Portugal signs with the British. Minus 14 for the Spanish, excellent. All right, come along. How are we are three months away for the pivots? Got to remember to move the one. Excessive spending by Austro-Hungarian Admiral. There's our control station improvements. Greece signs with Austro-Hungary. That one makes sense. Seems fairly random to me which secondary powers end up going to which major powers but there may be some influence there increased tension got a long way to go up to 540 positive The turn times for the campaign have been something they've been working on since the last major update for the campaign, and it, it shows the turns go much faster. But that first turn, not the one you guys saw, but generating the campaign initially, that takes forever still. A British Empire spending too much, German Empire spending too much. United States spending too much. Italians spending too much. We're the only fiscally responsible um, first lord of the admiralty. Or whatever the French one would be. It sounds more Victorian to say first lord of the admiralty. Rather than minister of the navy. Uh, so Brazil is who we got. Interesting. And they immediately ordered two Conde class heavy cruisers. Did we go over our shipbuilding limit? We're gonna accept this though. That's a nice profit. Which that's typical. Minus eleven for the Spanish. Finances. We are not over our shipbuilding capacity. Not even close. That is excellent. But we are now building two heavy cruisers that we got an upfront payment, but the cost per month for heavy cruisers, much higher than the light combatants that we've been building. Okay, let's see. 
July. Excessive naval expenditures, Venezuela signs with the United States. Spanish tried to improve relations with us. So did the British. Also seems semi-random to me. Because I've seen them improve and then increase tensions. It's like that makes no sense. You have some consistency, please. Which I suppose is actually realistic. <laughs> Sign of the tumultuousness that was the times. Russia overspending, uh, see, only took a hit to our prestige, a significant one that too. People trying to fight off their overlords. And now we should have, all right, perfect. So the one in Moroni, we're going to send to St. Dennis. Move ships, St. Dennis, we'll send T-17, there we go. See, that's not too much of a trip. Now leave our finances in good shape. I imagine compared on the international stage, we are light on tonnage, but we at least have a significant amount of ships. Chile signs with Russia. Mauritania. Interesting. More unrest. Increased tensions. We will go significantly negative in naval prestige if we have to. So now we are commissioning our Cosmos. Persia signed with Russia. Spanish ignored us again. Wow. Battles everywhere. Let us look. Yeah, we're at 80,000 total tons for 38 ships. Per ship tonnage, kinda light. Let's see, let's build out, I like having a lot of these pipettes for basically port defense. Build six more, three for La Rochelle and three for Le Havre. How's research coming? Gonna get nickel steel armor. It's a modest improvement. Didn't we get the two inch? No, they're still coming. Emergency wooden plugs. 
cruiser design, increasing cruiser size, wider reciprocating system. Oh, engine weight minus four. It's nice. And then early contact lines, also nice. Austro Hungary, overspending. Keep trying. What are we at? Negative 13. Less than optimal and puts us in a precarious position. Not that bad, but. Five more months for the two heavy cruisers for Brazil. That will be a nice influx of money. Toulon and Nice. Will be next, maybe St. Florent as well. Nice concentration of torpedo boats in the area. Which they will combine forces from multiple ports into a fight if it gets significant. And nearby fleets went out at sea. Oh, we may run into our first bug. Nope, it's sticking. AI yeah, was probably designing a few ships or like updating everything for a key tech. Naval expenditures. Austro Hungary, Admiralty. Head of the Admiralty. It's a fairly neutral term. Head of the Admiralty. I should just use what they have. Nickel steel armor. That's a big deal. Next, next armored combatant that we make, we'll have to switch. Romania signed with Spain. There we go. The United States attack against Morocco caused a major disturbance. Wow, there they are. So Toulon and Nice. Excessive spending in Germany, excessive spending in Austria Hungary, Japan, 4% lighter engines. And that's that's huge. Down to minus 50. Get in there. Fleet wise, three months for the Brazilians. United States spending, Russian spending, capital ship towers one. Brazil would like a light cruiser, sure, that's nothing. Seven, it's not a ton. Okay, so Italy strengthen relations with us. Several of our countries' shipbuilding industries are constructing warships for third countries. What is your opinion? Any business cooperation with third countries improves our bilateral relations and strengthens our defense industry in the long term. Plus to GDP and prestige, but more unrest, which we're at 3.8. Permit such cooperation, but in limited scope, in order to not leak our secret technologies. Support half a percent GDP and less unrest. 
or you are categorically against this practice that could strengthen our future rivals, or prestige and a minus to unrest. I'm for the GDP. Uh, the unrest, I think we can manage. Italians overspending, Australia Hungary overspending, Canada's alliance with Japan. Ottoman Empire with the Italians. Brazil would like a battleship. Good gracious. Okay. Spain. Let's put our shipbuilding capacity. Yeah, we're fine. But that does put us at a monthly balance of significantly negative. Until those two heavy cruisers come off the ways, which apparently they did two months of production in one. And sometimes they do fractional progress that you can't really see because of the floating point. Yep, the United States is refitting. So this takes a little bit. Embuscade, the coal bear, of what we built for Brazil. Minus 13. Alright, well on our way. The Virgin Islands have defeated Denmark and are now independent. Same with Lebanon. Negative 66. We have a little spare capacity right now, and we have a surplus of funds. Did we build the St. Florent ones? No, we ended at Nice. So, St. Florent, Tunis, Azerte, Algiers, Mers, El Kabir. That would be like 15. Oh, no, not those. All right, we want, uh, I already forgot, St. Florent. Or actually, we have them in St. Florent already. And Bonifacio. No, we couldn't build them in Bonifacio. All right, we need to check directly. Yeah, one in St. Florent. It needs to go to Bonifacio. St. Florent right there at the top missed it. Tunis. Which then should be down here. Bizerte. Algiers and Mars El Kabir. There we go. All European holdings have a port patrol. Excessive naval expenditure, wooden plugs, United States trying to provoke us, Swaziland, Zaire breaking free, Mozambique breaking free, a lot of independence out there.
naval expenditures, larger light cruisers, you want three escapettes, absolutely. Minus eight to Spain, that should put us at 72, or 74. Iraq is free. Wonder what our total maintenance burden just from torpedo boats is. It adds up. <laughs> Not as much as those battleships though. Things are expensive. Excessive spending. Excessive spending. Transfall retained by Swaziland. Increase tensions, finances, next turn. I think next I would like to get it's either West Africa or the Caribbean with torpedo boats. Maybe a pair of more Cosmos. Embarrassing incident involved Italian Empire. One of their most wealthy businessmen in naval construction industry is accused for illegal activities in our country. If we prosecute this person, our relations with the Italian Empire will be affected. We should not interfere with justice. That will bring down our unrest. Part of our naval funds will become lost due to corrupt activities needed to clean up this mess. To keep relations with the Italian Empire. It's minus 10, I don't care. There we go. Such as spending by Germany, Russia, triple expansion steam engines. That's another big one. Nice. Brazil wants a pipette. Good choice. Ah, Spanish provoking us as we provoke them. Indonesia rising up. That puts us at 87. Outstanding. What research do we have coming soon? Control station. Advanced Towers 1. That's about it. Okay. We'll go one more turn, and then we're probably going to call it this time. And we'll... Next time we may look at designing a major command. That'll be on screen. All further designing will be on screen rather than off. It's just for that initial fleet. We're going to like two or three episodes just to get the fleet designed. Excessive expenditures. Japan trying to cozy up. We'll increase tensions with Spain. Finances are good. We're about to get a nice infusion from the light cruiser. Spanish Empire has sent us an ultimatum demanding to withdraw our fleet that is operating near their borders, claiming that it threatens their trade lines with neighboring countries. The government requires your advice. We would never accept this if they want war, and sh so it shall be, and that will definitely put us over. It's not a good time to provoke the Spanish Empire, so we would compensate them. Not going to happen. Perhaps if we offer a generous compensation, that will improve relations significantly. No, when you were aiming for war, war it shall be. So, Austria Hungary Admiralty replaced, war erupts, which makes us good with France, not Germany, but the US, Russia, Italy, but not Austro Hungary. And 
and Japan, and not so much with China. Denmark signs with Italy. Mauritania. Well, Mauritania has been conquered by France. Mauritania is out here in the Caribbean. I, I actually am a little vague on where that is. Is it Africa? Um, yes, West Africa. Oh, good. Now we have six heavy cruisers. Light cruiser. Light cruiser. Light cruiser. Heavy cruiser. Now, what we haven't discussed is a strategy. Do we want to keep our battleships separate? Leave them in the Bay in the Bay of Biscay and the Western Mediterranean. Ooh, wow, they have a lot of power projection there. Not so much the Bay of Biscay. And do we want to try to do a naval invasion? Because we'll put them in close. We can combine our two major combatants. All four battleships can sail together with their accompanying ships. For now, I'm going to send them to specific targets. Let's cancel that. We don't have any out here, do we? West Africa is... And Central Africa. No, we do have... Conakry. So let's just cruise around the Central Atlantic. And the Caribbean. This one's risky. Yeah, we'll do West Indian Ocean. These raiders. Our heavy cruisers don't have escorts, but we'll send them to Manila. And then Saigon, that's our Southeast Asia raiding. That should be all of that, but we certainly do not have time to launch a naval battle. So we're not going to do that. What we can do is up our transport capacity because we're going to be losing transports. We're 10% over, so it gives us a little bit of a cushion. Naval Prestige is minus 8. We're probably going to need to design something. And it can be just an update to the designs. Let's take a quick look. I haven't seen any unlocks for hulls. So yeah, we have our Ironclad Battleship 3, 2, 1, Heavy Cruiser, maybe that's what will be, uh, the Cosmo, it changed from this experimental 3 master to the standard, which made it smaller. 
We've seen the torpedo cruiser, but we're currently using the older small torpedo cruiser because it's cheap. A lot of torpedo boats. I'm thinking we should get an update to our Conde. We'll refit everything. Not that they're likely to have time in port to be able to refit, so maybe not. We'll design a new class of heavy cruiser. I have concerns about using heavy cruisers though, because they're lightly armored. Battleships are very expensive. Maybe an update to the Pagode, because it can... With the triple expansion engines, it can be, it'll save a lot of weight and we'll get an extra 500 tons. Or we can keep it the same size or even shrink it down to make a cheaper version of it. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that. But that'll be for next time. I want to share my thoughts so that there can be some discussion. And with that, I thank you for staying to the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.